Hi guys. Um, I want to make this uh, short video just to talk a little bit about what filaments.c has been uh, up to for the last little while um, in terms of our new line we actually launched a few weeks ago a new line called a conophil. Now a conophil is something that uh, kind of ties in um, with our vision of, more, of a more sustainable 3D printing industry. Um, not only environmentally sustainable, but also actually financially sustainable. And I think if we combine these two, um, we actually get um, uh, an industry that can flourish and can actually maintain and sustain itself for many years to come. So um, we launched an Econofill line. Uh, an Econofill line is something we've been working on for a while. Over the last uh, five years we've been in business, we've actually come up with some breakthroughs uh, in extrusion, in material extrusion, and it actually allows us to manufacture um, materials, filaments that are that maintain the same high quality standards as the rest of our stuff, uh, but at a very, very, very low cost. Um, this is where financial sustainability comes in. Uh, it's materials that don't break the bank. Uh, they print beautifully. The, the quality is there. Uh, all the all the properties are there. Um, they're just they just cost less, which is which is which is the, the, the whole idea here. Uh, not only that, um, we're now taking our conifer line to the next step, which means we're we're bringing in the environmentally sustainable aspect of this. Over the last few weeks, I think, or the last couple of month, months, um, there's the whole refill idea or concept that's been floating around the internet, uh, and Thank you to Richard Horn, actually, that's been pushing this uh, really hard, uh, kind of opening everybody's eyes to this concept and how brilliant it is and how, um, how it can actually help everybody. Because everybody has, you know, we, we, we print a ton of stuff and we get piles of these spools that just kind of pile up and we don't really know what to do with them. Um, so this is really, really a, a brilliant idea and it helps it helps everybody, it helps uh, the environment, it helps us financially, it helps us environmentally. So uh, thank you Richard for actually pushing this uh, and kind of opening everybody's eyes. It's not necessarily a new idea, uh, it's been around for a while and we've been working on this actually for almost a year. Um, but Richard kind of, uh, like I said, opened everybody's eyes and uh, made them realize how really brilliant the, the, the idea is. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, so our take on it is, since we manufacture full one kilo spools, uh, we don't really work with the smaller 750 spools. That means, um, I think Richard's spool uh, is designed to take, I believe, 750 or 850 grams. Uh, so it's not really a great fit for us, but the concept is the same. Um, what we've actually done is we've done our own version which fits our one kilo spools. The other thing, we, the other thing we've done differently is we've added this cardboard uh, core. Why this is important is because when we extrude the material and we actually spool it, uh, that helps prevent the tangling at the beginning of the, of the spooling. Uh, so it gives us a much more reliable uh, spooling, um, which I know a lot of a lot of people think that there's going to be a lot of uh, tangling issues, but uh, it's it's not really it's not really complicated. It's very simple. It works very similar to a regular spool as long as you control your tip um, and secure it whenever it's not in use. You you should be fine. Um, we, we will also offer, uh, obviously, downloadable files uh, similar to Richard's master spool, but ones that actually fit uh, our one kilo spools. Um, 
but for those who don't really want to download or print or have a small printer that can't really accommodate a whole spool like this, um, we actually, like I said, we've been working this, on this for a while. So uh, we have an injection hole molded solution. Uh, it'll be very cheap. You'll be able to buy this. We might even include it with, with some orders. I'm not sure yet. Um, the idea here is simple. It's not uh, a screw like Richard's spool. Uh, the way this works is um, you go on our economy section, you choose hopefully um, the, the plan is, obviously we're going to start with PLA, but the plan is to expand this to ABS, PETG, colors, materials, uh, as much as we can. Uh, when you order, you're going to get a coil. It's not going to come along with a spool, it's just going to come with a vacuum pack, with a desiccant, um, and this removable sticker or label. Once you unpack it, um, if you happen to print your own spool, great, but if not, uh, you choose to use our house or our own um, pre-made spool. Um, you basically, it's very simple. You would take this pool, you have the uh, a removable sticker. This pool actually, like I said, it doesn't screw on. The way it works is it actually snaps together and then we can use these two uh, bolts or screws that tie it all together. So it's very simple, very strong, very secure, and very easy. Uh, you take your spool, we secure it with four zip ties. I know some manufacturers, I believe, do three. Uh, so we found four makes it a much more rigid and stable spool. Um, that's one other thing that we do differently. Uh, you basically take your spool, that's why we have these four holes here, basically to line up with the zip ties. You load your spool, you line it up, you take the other part, which snaps right in. And then you take your two bolts. And just you don't need a screwdriver or anything. Uh, they go right in. Tighten with your fingers. Very easy, very quick. and you got yourself a fully functional spool. You just cut the zip ties, stick your label on, uh, and you're good to go. If you want to change materials, same idea, you open it up. Or even if you use it halfway, uh, we're actually going to give you some extra zip ties. Uh, that's why you have these large windows here where you can push the zip tie back in, close your spool. Once it's secure, you open it up. Pool, take it out, put a different material, different color, whatever you wish. So I think uh, that way what happens is you get to use the same spool over and over and over and you don't end up with a pile of these that are just sitting in the, some corner of your room uh, and you, know, you don't want to throw them out, uh, you don't know what to do, don't know what to do with them, recycle them, don't recycle them, some many, municipalities take them, some don't. Uh, so that kind of eliminates a lot, a lot of the headache, um, and it also reduces the cost. So one of the factors that, or one of the ways we can offer a really low cost uh, solution like this is because we don't have to give you spool, we don't have to give you a box, we don't have to give you a um, and all these things combined uh, sort of tie in with our vision of creating something that's really sustainable financially, environmentally, and something we can actually keep enjoying as a hobby or as a business uh, for many, many years to come. So thank you very much, and I hope this will be useful to a lot of you, and I really hope this catches on. Um, 
because it's really, really a brilliant concept, and it's I think the way it should have been always. Um, just like you have refills for your printers, for your regular printers, uh, this is the same idea, and uh, um, I think that's uh, that's the way to go. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy our materials and the comment line, and uh, I'll see you soon.